Okay, so we're gonna up we're gonna upload our websites using CodeHS. So you'll come to CodeHS, you'll click sign up for free on the home page, you'll sign up with your Google account, you'll enter your Google password. You'll get logged in. Okay, there'll be a course here that doesn't matter. You're gonna come up here to Sandbox. And the first thing you're gonna do is go to Edit Homepage. You're gonna click on that little pencil and you're gonna rename your homepage. So click on Edit Homepage, sorry, Sandbox. Edit Homepage, click on that little pencil and name it something uh, like your first and last name. So if I was Kylie Connolly, be Kylie Connolly, okay? And maybe you need a one, two, three, four, um, depending, okay? So I've updated it, close, okay? So that's the way I start. Then it's gonna take me to my page. My website will be right there, the name of my website. I'll see my index file. So I'm gonna open up my Sublime, come to my index file, Control A, Control C to copy it paste my index file, control V right over here, save it, run it, there's my little website, right? Second step is to create the style. So new, file, styles, unless you named it wrong, styles.css, add the file, same process. Go to my sublime, go to my styles, control A, control C, come back, control V to paste, Save it, run it, and there you go. And the only thing different is the photos. So I'm gonna code a quick photo in here. You will have your photo already copied in here. Images, I didn't have one. SRC equals, and it should look something like this, like images backslash dog dot JPEG and the file, right? Save, and that's how it should look. But we can't have our files like this in um, CodeHS and because uh, it'll come up like this because these files aren't actually in CodeHS. So I need to upload these files. How do I do that? So I'm going to go to New. I'm going to go to fi um, Upload. Oop, new. Upload. I'm going to find the file in my images folder back on my website. So I just happen to have a photo right here. Okay. I'm gonna fix the name of it. Just make sure, just like you were supposed to, there's no like special characters or dashes, etc. So I'm gonna save it, add file. It's gonna pop up here on this left-hand side, eventually, okay? Um, should, save, let me see. Oh, there it is, okay? So I'm gonna click on it, because I can't type that in. It's gonna come up with this code here of this photo. I'm gonna click copy the link like we did in dash coding come back to where I wanna put the picture between those quotations, paste that code that they gave me from CodeHS, run it, my picture will appear. I have to tweak mine uh, simply because it's too big. So I'm just gonna add, you probably already have it sized in your um, thing. So I'm gonna say width 200 PX and fix it real quick for you. Save it, and then oop, save, I hate control S, run. Now it's a lot smaller, perfect. I'm all good, I fix all the pictures, upload them all, I'm good. I copy this link right up here, copy link address, right? Come over into CodeHS, into that blue folder, come to the website link, come into the comment box. I'm gonna click insert content link, I'm gonna paste the link right there, and then I'm gonna type Kylie's website. I'm gonna hit insert. I'm gonna post, and then I can even test it, double check myself, test it. There's my website so anyone can view it. Um, and once I've posted my link, okay, Ms. Watts is gonna delete hers. Um, once I've posted my link and it looks fine, I'm gonna come back into the final coding folder and there's this green quiz saying, I submitted my rubric to the drawer. You just have to answer true and submit that quiz and you are done with your website. 
Um, so you've uploaded your website to CodeHS, you've posted your link to the discussion board, um, and that you've double checked that somebody can click on your link, Katie's website, and it takes them right to that website. If you got an error like this, then there's not that website. So you wanna make sure that if you clicked on it, so I'm gonna try that again with my new one, insert link, paste, okay, paste my link, Katie's website, insert, post, and now if someone clicks on this one, I've tested it, this one works, okay? So make sure you do that and make sure you click on that quiz to say you submitted your rubric to the drawer. Okay? And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.